Craftopia, where we are creating a safe space for artists and crafters of all ages and experience levels to learn, create, explore, and grow. I'd like to invite you to check out our website at www.craftopiawa.com, where you can learn more about our organization and vision and see a list of upcoming classes. You can also follow us on social media at Craftopia Walk. Now, pull up a chair, get comfortable, and let's get crafty. Hello friends, today we're going to make a fun little scarecrow magnet to welcome fall in. If you're using a kit from Craftopia, then you already have everything you need. You should have a couple of popsicle sticks. You should have two long ones and then one half one, a couple pieces of paper, a little adhesive magnet, a bag of glue, a paintbrush, and some raffia. That's this papery grass looking stuff. So my sticks are painted white. I don't know why. I just found them in the bin this way and I thought I'll go ahead and use them. Yours will not be white. Um, first thing we're going to want to do is stick all of our pieces together. Uh, you can use glue to adhere the top of that together. Oh, my glue is dried. Let's just go ahead and take the top off. Um, you have a nice little baggie. Uh, the nice thing with the baggies in the glue is you can just open them up and stick your paintbrush in, or if you want to just snip a corner off, that works as well. So... Um, you should also have a glue dot, but i got to be honest with you, I don't 100% remember. But I'm pretty sure I stuck a glue dot in there. So if you do indeed have a glue dot, that's a little easier than trying to glue your sticks together. Uh, they should just pop right off. You can stick it between your two sticks and then use that to put this on. This is going to be the brim of your hat, so you do want to make sure that it's kind of higher up because this will be his hat and then his face down here. All right, if not, you can use the glue that is included, wipe it on there. It will take a little bit of time to dry. Now I'm going to coat, I'm going to start with the hat and I'm just going to coat it all in my glue. So I do recommend you do this on a surface that is easily washable. This is pretty washable glue, uh, so it's not going to permanently stick or stain anything on there, but it can be a little messy because it is pretty runny. So we're going to give that a good coat. And then we're going to let it dry for just a minute or two. It doesn't have to dry for too long. And while we let it dry, we're going to choose what colors we want for what. So I gave you three different color choices. You can put them on your little scarecrow however you would like. Uh, you can do one color for his hat, one color for his face, one color for his clothes. Um, you can mix and match and tear them into little pieces and make them like a confetti scarecrow. It's really up to you. Some of your pieces of paper also will be double-sided, so make sure you check both the front or the back. You know, maybe I want a little giraffe scarecrow. I don't know. Uh, so for my scarecrow, I think I am going to do this one for his hat, maybe? You know, I'm kind of thinking I'm going to break my yellow one in half and do yellow here and then an orange brim and then a red shirt with maybe a little bit of yellow checker at the bottom. I think that's a good idea. So I'm gonna fold my little yellow one in half, fold it really, really tight. And then I'm gonna flip it and fold it the other way, fold it really, really tight. And then it should give me a relatively clean hair. Okay, once we have a little bit of dry, I'm just gonna stick this right on top of where I want it to be. Yes, it is too big for my piece, but that is okay. I am not gonna worry about that yet. I think I'm gonna go ahead and tear this one in half too because I think it's plenty big half for his little brim. Then who knows, I might make him a, a neck tie or something. Just have to see how I'm feeling. All right, I'm going to stick that right over the top. Now, it should be tacky enough that your paper holds on there, but not so tacky that it tears right away. And then we're going to actually coat the top of our paper really good with the glue as well. This should soak into our paper and make it soft enough that we will be able to mold it around our sticks if we want. Or we can just leave it square if we're feeling like maybe our square grows just a little bit more on the square. He's a square crow instead of a scarecrow. Ah, I get it. 
I don't think Adira appreciated my joke. So I got a nice thick layer of this glue. This glue is called Mod Podge and it is used a lot uh, in the arts and crafts world because it does a really good job of soaking into things, especially paper and sealing them so that they last and last and last. So got that pretty well coated. I'm gonna let that sit and soak a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and put his shirt on here. So same thing, I'm gonna put a layer of it on the bottom. I'm not gonna do it all the way to the top because I wanna leave a little space to draw a face on him when I am all done. So we're just gonna do this and go ahead and give that a minute or two to dry. So if we do, oh, oh no! Good thing I'm gonna be putting glue on that side anyways, huh? So if I put that there, it's a little long. I'm just gonna tuck him in so I can see. Yep, that's pretty good. Then, I don't know. I'm kind of thinking I might just want, no, he needs some sort of little kerchief. I'm gonna give him a little yellow kerchief. Why? Because I can, no other reason. And you can do whatever you want with yours. It is your scarecrow. And there is no right or wrong with this craft. That's the thing I love about arts. Okay. I'll just take my little piece off. Folded it anyways. Put it on there. And again, give him a nice coat of glue. I'm going to put his little kerchief right up there. Give it a nice coat of glue. So you should probably will end up with a lot of glue left over. And that's okay. So it really doesn't take a lot to get this stuff to stick on. I'm just going to smooth that out a little there. I kind of like his square hat. I think I might leave that square instead of rounding it off, but I am going to tuck these little pieces under. So I'm going to grab them here. And as you can see, my stick was actually broken. That's all right. I'm going to give a little rub there. I'm going to go ahead and put a coat down here. I'm going to fold his shirt up. And using my paintbrush so I don't even have to touch it, and fold it over and dab it on. And fold it over. Now that paper is nice and soaking with all the glue. Should fold. Ooh, that's a really little piece. Stay put. Okay. Get a little more here because I didn't really coat his bottom. And fold it over. I'll hold this one for a second since he wasn't as well coated. Now, if you wanted to, you could actually go through and do the same thing, apply some uh, of the glue and then fold over all of these little bits and pieces too. Uh, you certainly don't have to. I'm going to fold over his kerchief though so that it... Oh, actually, I really like that. Now I'm going to have glue on me. I should have thought this through. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. I like it. I'm going to leave his little wings here though but i will make sure they are coated and i'm going to just go ahead and smooth out all of the rest of the glue now this will take a little bit of time to dry obviously as you can see how much glue is on here um but in about 12 24 hours depending on how warm it is and how dry it is where he's sitting uh, he should be completely good to go I would recommend you wait till he dries entirely before trying to draw on any facial features that you might want, just so that he doesn't stick to your hands. And then once he is all good to go and dry, you can stick his little magnet in the back here. So your magnet has a white side and that is actually a sticker that you can peel off. Let's see if I can do this one handed. This is much easier with two. and stick that on the back so that he can hang up on something magnetic if you want and then also you should have the little raffia 
This stuff is very crinkly. Again, should easily fold and tear for you. So if you wanted to add a little bit of hair, that's why I left a nice little brim there. My raffia is really long, so I'm going to fold it over a couple times here. He's going to have some crazy rainy weather hair. Okay. Fold it all to some points. Let's see. Do I want to break it or do I want to just leave it like this? I kind of like it like that. What do you think? Tuck his hair up in there. Oop, as I'm throwing the glue cap around. All right. I'm actually going to use my paintbrush hopefully to hold his hair in place so I can go grab a pen and finish his face. So obviously he will look much better once he's all dry and in place and not being held together with a paintbrush. But, ooh, I found some wet glue. I'm going to give him a happy little eyeballs and my scarecrow is going to give a little bit of a smirk. I think I'm going to give him a little pointy nose here, too. But you can do whatever kind of face you want. If he's going to have like a jack-o'-lantern face or a kitty cat face. And again, once he's all dry, he'll stay together a little better. And he will be ready to adorn whatever magnetic surface you want. I hope you had a fun time. Oh! Man, he's really having a bad hair day, isn't he? Get back up there, scarecrow hair. All right, there we go. I hope you had a fun time, and I cannot wait to see what you created. We hope you had a good time crafting with us today. If you have any questions regarding this project, feel free to leave a comment below or send us an email at info at craftopiawa.com. And be sure to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss out on any future crafty goodness. Until next time!